which color we fear. And this is the machine I built which runs both Windows and Mac. It's a dual boot and it costs way cheaper than what Apple charges you for their starting basic Mac. And in terms of performance, this machine absolutely crushes them. Instead of buying a basic Mac Mini or a MacBook Air, you can build 4 of these systems for that price, maybe even 5. I will be telling you how to build one for yourself in a bit, but first let me explain why Macs are so expensive. Hey, it's interesting. All the motherboards, processors, RAMs, whatnot, all the computer components and builds you find in the market can run operating systems like Windows, Linux, but not Mac OS. When was the last time you saw someone buying computer parts to build a system that runs Mac OS? You won't usually, right? Because Mac OS is designed to run only on the hardware which is built by Apple. This is why Macs are generally bought but not built by anyone other than Apple. It's not the hardware that kept Apple on the top, it's the software. When you buy a MacBook, you are not buying for its specs, it's the software that makes you buy a MacBook. Hands down, Apple makes one of the best softwares on the planet. Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro are some of the softwares that are exclusively for Mac. No matter how many features Windows Laptop offers you, that too at a very low price, these are the softwares that forces a user to buy a Mac, even it is breaking his bank. A Mac is available in wide ranges, starting from a Mac Mini which costs you hundreds of dollars to a top spec top of the line Mac which can cost you thousands of dollars or lakhs of Indian rupees. For that price, you can even buy a luxury car. People are actually buying these. It is the software experience or maybe some softwares which are only exclusive for Mac that is making people to buy these machines even these machines are insanely priced. But can we get the same software experience without breaking our banks? That's what I'm about to show you. Follow the exact steps which I'll be showing in this video. You will be having a brand new Mac within no time. So without further ado, let's get started. You need a compatible motherboard, Intel processor and a compatible graphic card. How do you know which is compatible? Don't worry, use the same parts which I used in this build. You will be good to go. Don't worry, they are pretty cheap. Amazon links in the description. You can buy them from there. There are some codes and files that are needed in order to make macOS run on these parts. Sit back and relax, I have built all the files for you, but they only work if you are using the same hardware. If you are using different parts, you need to build your own EFI. What is EFI? Hang on, I will be showing you in a bit. But what if you don't want to go through this tedious process of building your own EFI? Simple, buy the parts which I am using in this build, you are good to go. I also suggested some other parts which will work with my EFI. Again, check out the links in the description, you will find them. For a successful installation, I recommend buying the parts I suggested and use the files which I built. Links are in the description. Go ahead and download. I am giving away all these files which I built absolutely for free. So hey, why don't you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Once you downloaded the files, follow the steps. First you need to download Python. After you download, make sure you click add path, otherwise it won't work. Once you are done with that, extract the files on your desktop. Insert your pen drive. Open command prompt by typing cmd. Run as administrator. Now type disk path. Once you are into disk path, type list disk. Locate your pen drive here. In my case, it's disk1. Type select disk1. Once it says disk 1 selected, now type clean and press enter. Now open disk management and create a new volume. Once you are done with that, format it. Name the drive as EFI. Remember all should be uppercase, EFI. The file system should be FAT32. Once you are done with this, go to your pendrive root directory. Create a new folder here. Now open the codes text file which I have provided. Scroll down, you will see folder name. Copy that and rename this folder by pasting it. Now open the open core folder on your desktop. Go to utilities and then Mac recovery. Now select the folder. By holding shift, press right click. You will see copy as path option. Select it. Now search for command prompt again. Open it and type cd. Space, right click. This will automatically paste the path for you. Now press enter. Once you are into the directory, 
Now again open the quotes file. Now select the version you desire. In my case, I am downloading Catalina. Copy the code and paste it into the command prompt and enter. It will download macOS recovery from Apple Genuine server. As we are downloading the genuine copy, you do not need to worry about viruses or malware. This OS is totally clean as we are downloading it directly from Apple. Once this is done, close it. Now go to open code folder, utilities and mac recovery. These are the files we just downloaded. Now copy these files and remember this folder we just created. Open this and paste these files. Now copy the EFI folder which I built for you into the root of the pen drive. If you are using gigabit motherboard which is exactly what I am using, you should be using this EFI. If you are using Zebronix motherboard which I suggested in the description, you should be using the EFI name EFI for Zebronix. If you are using any other hardware other than this, you should build your own EFI. Because EFI is really important. Think like this. If macOS is the body, EFI is basically like its brain, which tells how the body should be interacting with the hardware. This is the most important. Using the wrong EFI may even brick your motherboard. So make sure you use the correct one. Once you finished copying this, now go to the proper tree folder. Run the Windows batch file. Now go to file and now open the config.plist file in your pen drive. Now click on the file. Now do a OC snapshot by clicking the OC folder. Once you done this, you will see a whole lot of instructions. These are the instructions which I built for you. Don't touch anything. Close all this. Go down. You need to make little changes here. Go to the platform info. Here you need to fill the zeros. Open the SMBIOS generator which I provided. Run the batch file. Now type 1 and press enter. Once it's done, press enter to go back. Now type 3 and press enter. This basically generates fake serial numbers which make macOS to think that it is running on an Apple designed hardware. Now copy these into plist file. Once you're done with it, save it. Now file snapshot. Now file OC clean snapshot. Now save it and close all this. That's it, you're good to go. Eject the pen drive safely. Now plug in this pen drive into the system on which you want to install macOS. Go to BIOS menu by hitting delete or function keys. Once you are into BIOS menu, make these following changes. Without making these changes, the bootloader won't boot. this save these changes and exit now restart your computer and select usb as your boot if you did everything right you should see this open core bootloader once you see this hit efi or mac you will see a lot of commands going on your screen don't panic let the bootloader do its work it will take some time be patient sometimes it may seem like your system was struck or frozen don't worry give it time and be patient it will move on eventually during this process, your system may restart several times automatically. Do not panic. Let it do its work. Once again, I am telling you, please use the same files which I have given. Do not use any updated files or any other versions. Using them may cause some errors. In my files, I fixed all the errors, so use only the files which I have provided. Everything will go right as rain. Once everything was successful, you will enter into Apple's recovery. 
Now follow the steps to format your hard drive into APFS, which is really important in order to install macOS on your hard drive. Once you are done with this, you will be taken into macOS home screen within no time. We are almost done. There is only one final step you need to do. Without this, your system won't boot. Search Google for Mount EFI GitHub and download Mount EFI program. Now open this file. Enter the boot disk number. In my case, it's disk 2. Enter your password and this will open EFI drive on your desktop. Now open this drive, you will find it empty. Now go ahead and open your pen drive and copy the EFI folder which I have built and paste it here. Eject EFI and pen drive. And that's it. We have successfully installed Macintosh. Congratulations on your new build. Enjoy your macOS. Hope you have a great time with it. For those who want to do this on a different hardware, it requires its own EFI. If you want to learn how to build one for yourself, let me know in the comment section. I will be making a separate video how to build your own EFI. It is a tedious process and requires a little skill, but it will be fun to build your own EFI from scratch. So hit that subscribe button to not miss that video. That's pretty much it. See you in the next one. Till then, peace.